I don't, there's <laughs> nothing I can do. What? Is there any more? I need a direct fire department to this one. Roger. That that would be helpful. Yes, sir. Ray's got family over here. I know, I see that, boy. I'm out there. I see it. They're not just crazy. They're just. I need to fire Red River. It's not worth taking off. I hear you, brother. I know, but other people it's like, damn. Direct EMS come in through Zeb's parking lot. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Thanks, man.
Marty! Marty! Get out of here! Okay, I'll come back over here and get some pictures of that. Okay, Thanks. I, I just didn't. I'm sorry. Okay. I gotta head up for Yeah. Please, it's warmer, yeah. How many people on board, sir? Okay. You know, they're, I just need to get their names real quick. Yeah, Richard, J, and he goes by Richard. Rick, he goes by Rick. Okay. S C H E N K, Shank. Shank. His wife's name was Annie. I E or Y? I E. Okay. They're from Great Bend, Kansas. Okay. Rick was, how old is Rick? 65? His wife is 60. Okay. All right, I need to get back out there, folks. Um, so sorry. Thanks for letting him stay up there. So now what you need to know, but I watched this whole thing happen. All right, just let me get your name and... Joe Moss, M-O-S-S. M-O-S-S? Yes, sir. Okay, phone number for you, sir. You saw it as well, ma'am? I w Did you no. see it as well? No. Okay. No, I was standing there. I watched him take off until... Oh, okay, I'll be in touch with you, sir. Okay. If, if I don't see you here, I'll give you a call. Okay. Thank you. Talk to me. We got two. We got a husband and wife in there. Okay. Have we contacted the airport? Let's contact the airport. Let's find out what the plane is, who it was. I got their names. Okay. They're on their way back to Kansas. Okay. I need to, let me, I got to get some crime scene tape marked yeah, out first. Yeah, I was going to say, can you get them? Yeah. Hey, fire five, Red River. Were you able to get hold of two? Not right now, I don't think. I just got to figure out what I need to do. A big crime scene right now. Thank you, sir. Do you want me to coordinate? Do you want me to take Yeah, it's got to go all the way to Zeb's. Zeb's is a part, got hit. Zeb's actually got hit? Yeah, see the top?
sir. Okay, I got a vest. You need to put it on and a coat. I got two. Yeah, they hit the top of Zeb's um, and, and the field in between Zeb's and uh, True Value. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir. What'd you have, <laughs> sir? What uh? What information on what, sir? On that plane and who was in there and where they're stationed. Okay. It's in 7742 Papa to command you. So if you're going to call the FAA, you can tell them. That's, um, uh, yeah. that's my next call. Yeah. After I get some crime scene going. I got the people's name, but anything, yeah, just, just keep writing. Frank. Okay. I got uh, state police notified Okay. Thank you, John. You keep writing, I'll be right back, sir. So we've got a wing, standing gear, all kinds of shit on that front. Here, we've got this too right here. So we'll go on the other go side of his car. Go uh find that post right there, that pole. Go out to the fence line and down the fence. Hey, bro, you got piece here, there's piece on the other side. Hit the, hit the top of Zeb's. John's got, yeah. All right. Over there, he's already notified the police and also uh, had them contact FAA. Did it break on you? I appreciate your help. Edge fire five, right over that'd be two. Two ten seven. All the way back to your truck. No, I'm the fence line's good. They all stopped at the plane. I got it as well. Got a light from the plane right here. I think that's as far as this way anything went. Pretty sure that's from the plane. Start, start photographing. Start. Yeah, go get the stuff. Fire wants to move the stuff off the roof already. I'm like, I don't think they should until we get determination on state or. Did you get anything this last couple of days? Did you get anything in the last couple of days? We killed a bull the last day. Good. All right. So we get the state police right in our We're not moving anything. We're going to inspect that roof. Okay. I heard Jared talking. It sounded like he was going to move something off the roof. No, I told him no. to ladder the roof and inspect it. Okay. with the fire extinguishers and look for a set of keys? Yeah, you mean just... No, well, I mean, if you got more pressing... I just need to try and track down this witness and see if I can start a statement with him, but I definitely will in a second, okay, sir? Yeah. Hey, Dale, if you see anything that looks like it belongs to it, just keep an idea of where it's at for me. Okay, come on. Hi, Joe, this is Officer Fitch. We talked at the uh, True Value. Are you still in the area, sir? If you could, I'm going to get you started on a, a written statement real quick while I take some photos, and that way, hopefully, I won't have to bug you anymore. All right. Thank you, sir. I don't have continuation forms, so if it goes longer than this first page, just write on the second page like it was a, another page, okay? Okay. Fill out the top as best you can for me, just on the first sheet. You don't need to do the other ones. Okay. And then just start writing away, and I'll be I'll be around. Get she my attention. She writes than I do, so I'll tell her what to write. As long as you sign your name, saying it's your words. Yeah. Okay. I just want to shut down Zeb's parking lot too. I want to go see where the, the wing stuff landed, but if they're going to come investigate, they could probably want that shut down too. So.
sides are already closed? I had him. Uh, I haven't been on that side yet. Okay. He took my tape and, and ran it that side. Okay. I want to see how much it includes, though. Pretty good. A shotgun fits like a dream. But uh, yeah, I gotta wiggle around the AR a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I heard. I haven't been on that side yet. Alright, I think I'm going to shut down the parking lot, depending on how far it's spread out over there. It's, it's up against the building. Is it? So, yeah. Okay. Hey, Dale, where's your truck at? Where's your truck? You want to pull it in or block the parking lot? It topped this tree right here, clipped it. Uh, we're from the FAA, mm -hmm. uh, so we're just out here to, f to find out what happened yeah. and hopefully prevent this from happening again. Unfortunately, it happens a lot in general aviation, it's a regular occurrence, um, especially if people aren't used to, to certain flying conditions, and being at this altitude is really hard for some people that are not used to it. Um, but if you could tell us what you saw, mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Well, I was on my way to church, okay. and I was coming down the highway right here, okay. and... You were north? Yes, okay. north. And I looked, and I saw the, the plane. It was over across the highway opposite, you know, over here, uh -huh. okay. and um, on the east side of the highway. Yeah. And But it was very, very low, and it was just, you could tell it was stalling, and... Um, I was married to a pilot, so okay. I know enough to be dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so you could you could just see it, just you know, trying like it it didn't it couldn't overcome okay. the stall, and uh, it was coming to, at me. I was on the you know on the highway. Well, I saw it, and I was going. And it was coming almost. Eventually, it was coming straight down the highway, and I was going, oh please, land on the highway, land on the highway. And uh, I, I hit the ditch with my car to get it off the highway. And it was, I don't know what was happening in front of me or in back of me. Yeah. But all of a sudden, the plane just, it was coming right at me. And then it just went like this, up over the power line down up there. And it came over Zeb's and I saw a metal fly. Okay. And then it came over here. And of course, it must have just pancaked when it got when it, right over the there okay. because at that point I jumped in my car to, to get that. And so the only thing I didn't see, I ran straight to the fence here to see if there was anybody the that family. maybe yeah. I could do anything with, but the thing was engulfed in flames okay. and it flipped yeah. over upside down. But from, from coming straight at me down the road, all of a sudden it made just a 90, like a wind maybe got it or something. So it was going... It like was, this, it was stalling and yeah. kind of buffeting a little bit, yeah. and all of a sudden it just yanked it just, up. Like that. Okay. It just made and, and a real it, sharp right turn. And I saw it come over, it hit the tree, it hit Zeb's, uh, and you know, I, I wasn't, but then it just flipped and fell. And that was what I saw, and I was just praying that it would stay on the highway. Yeah, that would have. But, but he looked like he was trying to come down on the highway. He really, uh, like I said, I've, I've flown in a lot of those type of little planes and stuff, and that's what it looked like. But he was stalling and, and blubbering and, you know, just like he had no power. Um, not enough to overcome whatever was going on. But somebody, and this is hearsay, yes, I sir. realized that they were watching him take off, and they said as soon as he came up, the wind pushed him back down or something yeah, something happened. Yeah. So that's what I saw and, and I was just couldn't believe it when I saw that ninety degree turn. 
because I thought, you've got it made. You've got it made. You're going to be on the highway. How much of a bank would you say it was? Huh? How much of a bank, you know, was it when the plane made the right turn? Was it like almost 90 degrees? Just about. Okay. Yeah, because he was coming straight so down the middle of the road. Like yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, it was maybe the wind caught his wind. Yes, that's what I'm, I'm, not, like. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was. It all happened very yes, quickly. But he must have recovered a little bit. Or maybe the tree recovered him. Yeah. Because when he came over uh, Zeb's, he was still up, upright. He was still, he was still, yeah. okay. Yeah. But when he clipped the building, then he just went straight into the ground? You yeah. You can see where the top of that one pine has been too. Yeah. And, yeah. And it sees where the, the little corner of that, up there by those windows. Because mm -hmm. I can, I thought, I thought he was even going to clear Zeb's because I saw him come over the, the, the short part. And I went, oh. you know, of course I was, couldn't breathe, and then I had too much air and yeah. everything, and all I knew to do was whip out and run, and then Mark showed up. I'm saying, I, I thank you for taking time out. And, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I wish I knew more about what was going on. No, no, was, you, you gave us a pretty good description of what happened. Um, our, the NTSB investigator will be by this evening, uh -huh. and I'm going to give you your phone number That's and your fine. card. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, JJ called me and then Craig had told me to get down here and talk to you guys and I knew you knew I was right. here. Yeah, I would have reached so, out to you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But there were there was two or three other people I know because when I ran across her I screamed call nine one one and I you know, and there was a guy over at Zamps and he was coming from the other direction and he had a piece of metal in his hand. He had picked it up. Yeah. And and he was running toward the, the crash and he said, Did anybody get out? And I said, I couldn't see anybody and, and it just I mean, the the window was only about this tall yes, as you can yeah. probably see yeah. there. And there was just smoke and fire just coming out. Yeah. I just didn't think anybody could survive that. Unfortunately not. Yeah. And I really feel bad. And I didn't know the couple, but I've seen this plane up here so oh, have you? often. Okay. Yeah. So he should be used to the area. Yeah. I, I always thought for a while that they were given lessons. I would see oh, the plane yeah. up here so oh, wow. often, okay. even from top. You know, I thought yeah. well, they're coming over from Taos and do touch and go, okay. you know, or something. But uh, apparently it was a business. Somebody had a business up here because one of the first people that were here was people that had let them off mm -hmm. to get to the plane, and they came over. And the two ladies that I kind of grabbed onto when they went hysterical said, how are we going to tell the kids? And I thought, okay, it's one of their husbands, but it wasn't in business. Okay. So that was all I, yeah. I saw, but I really thought he had it made until whatever flipped him, flipped him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where I <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to watch two people, you know, yes, perish.